Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the second half of November. So, I'm just going to see what comes up. So, the 15th through the 30th of November, what do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? That one came flying out. Oh, there we got another one. One more, please. What do we have? For, well, I didn't want a whole pile. I'm not going to take those. We only want one. One, please. Alright. So what do we have for Capricorn? Second half of November. What do we got? Feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Second half of November. Boot. Increase your efforts. If you want to achieve your goals, you're going to have to increase your efforts. Okay. Love. This is about love. Oh boy. Okay. So if you want to achieve your goals, you're going to have to kick it into high gear. There is someone around you that is undependable and insincere. Uh, you probably know who it is. So, what do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn for the end of November? This is in regards to a love situation by the looks of things. Okay. What do we have for Capricorn? Five of Cups reversed. Now, there could be somebody that is coming back. Somebody that hurt you. You hurt them. Whatever the case is. Five of Cups reversed. If that's not the case, that is recovery. On the path to recovery. You could also be realizing that there is another opportunity. Because that is, remember, realizing there's new prospects. If you are in a committed relationship now, and things, things could be getting better. Okay, if you've been through a period of strife or you've been hurting for some reason, things could definitely be getting better. This could be a turning point where things get better. Um, this Five of Cups reversed is letting bygones be bygones. Okay, focusing on the future. There could be a reunion of some sort. Okay, or it could be a new opportunity for love when you get the Five of Cups reversed that you're seeing. Okay, you're beginning to see something. This is a card of forgiveness as well. So if you are in a committed relationship right now, maybe you just need to forgive and move on. If you are single, there could be somebody coming back, okay, coming back around. Um, this could also be you realizing that there is somebody else. Maybe you've been missing the opportunity, you know. Um, but the Five of Cups is new prospects or beginning to realize the truth or going through a, a recovery, okay? A period of recovery is happening for you. Um, justice reversed. So there's been some sort of injustice, okay? Not happy with an outcome. Somebody's not happy. Could be you. Could be somebody that you're dealing with, okay? Something isn't fair. Somebody may have treated you unfairly. Maybe you treated them unfairly. Um, there's lack of finality here. Something may not be final. Um, dishonesty. Somebody's being dishonest. They're not telling the truth. Something, somebody isn't telling the truth. Um, there could also be a legal loss here. Something could be going against you. Maybe you feel like it's going against you. But there's some sort of unfair treatment or something like somebody may have treated you unfairly with that five of cups reversed um four of pentacles reversed opening up letting go there's instability here somebody has been very very stubborn now they're ready to open up they may be opening up um Letting go, letting go of something. Um, somebody is letting go of an insecurity. 
needing to let go, needing to open up, needing to be fair, needing to be honest. We have somebody here that needs to be honest. Very, very stubborn energy here. Three of Swords. Now, this is recovery, forgiveness on the path to recovery. So this is asking, for, somebody may be asking for forgiveness. I don't know who this person would be, but um, maybe it's you, maybe it's them. I don't know, but this is on the path to, re to recovery. This is definitely letting bygones be bygones, healing, healing, healing your heart, maybe healing a connection, healing yourself, um, leaving the past hurts behind. Letting go, letting go of something. You may be letting go of somebody that treated you unfairly, focusing on the future. You know, maybe that's the case. Or you're letting something go that really, really hurt you. You need to definitely do that. Maybe things didn't turn out the way that you wanted them to turn out, but you got to let it go anyway. You know, focus on the future. Um, Nine of Swords reversed. No, my deck is not reversed. Now that is, um, when you get a bunch of reversals, there's, the, there's an absence of something. Okay? But it looks like things are getting better. Things are going to get better for you. Um, this is extremely worried. Extremely. The Nine of Swords reversed. This is feeling guilty. Maybe feeling extremely guilty. Maybe you need some closure on a situation. Maybe there's some compassion that is needed. I feel like you're going to be giving deep thought to a relationship. You know, maybe your gut is talking to you. There's extreme fear here. Maybe maybe you're, there's lack of trust. You need to have faith. You need to trust. You need to believe. Stop letting your worries get the best of you. I think that you're doing a lot of worrying. You may be having a hard time sleeping. You may be feeling extremely alone. Um, you know, feeling very, very alone right now. And I feel like you're hurting over something. Like maybe you feel like nobody understands you or nobody cares. Um, but I do feel, I do see recovery. A recovery is happening with that Three of Swords reverse. It is. You're on the path to recovery. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. This is healing, releasing pain, opening up, letting go of something that really, really hurt you, letting bygones be bygones. You're going to need to do that. Forgiveness is needed. To move on, you have to forgive somebody that hurt you. So you may be needing to, even if you're not with that person, maybe, or even if you are with that person, it is about leaving the past behind, forgiving, and moving on. Well, we have a couple of them fall over. Fall out. Page of Wands reversed. Five of Wands reversed. And the High Priestess. The High Priestess upright. Could be dealing with a healer, an empath, a reader, a medium, a psychic. This is somebody that is a spiritual, you know, warrior of some sort. Um, highly, highly gifted. I was going to say intuitive, but gifted wanted to come out. We have somebody here that is very gifted, intuitive, um, very receptive, uh, knows you know, has this inner knowing about things. Um, Page of Wands reverses is a setback. It's a setback of something, some sort, negative thinking, uh, pessimistic, uh, lose, loss of focus. We have somebody that is thinking very negatively, um, makes excuses, procrastinates, uh, doesn't have a lot of confidence, unreliable, uh, Five of Wands reversed next to this High Priestess. This is like fighting petty, uh, need to, needing to let go of the pettiness, you know. Ne needing to let go of the need to compete. This is finding a solution, cooperating. 
This is the, I feel like there's, you've been in conflict with somebody. This is the end of the conflict. The conflict is coming to an end. We may have somebody that, uh, you know, failed to uh, follow through with something. This is somebody that is unreliable, you know. Um, this is somebody that is aggressive and mean-spirited, that never has anything good to say, that has been causing some sort of conflict, you know. Maybe you were dealing with this person. They left you out to, to, to hang, you know. They hung you out to dry, you know. They... They, they didn't care if they hurt you. That's what it feels like to me. I'm not sure who you're dealing with, but it feels like you're dealing with somebody that um, did not follow through. This person may have lit your fire and then left you, you know, left you to, to hang, you know. Anyway, maybe there's uh, some sort of animosity here, you know, anger even. Anyhow, I feel like at the end of this month, you're going to be working on yourself because this is a very self card you know you're gonna be working on yourself you're gonna go and be going within I think you're gonna be giving deep thought to a relationship I feel like you're gonna be really working on your spirituality you're gonna be listening to your gut you're gonna be you're gonna be um, maybe even isolating yourself a little bit because I feel like you're healing from something um, healing from some sort of injustice you know Maybe you didn't get your way. Something didn't turn out the way that you thought. And it, and it causes some sort of animosity within you. Um, I do feel like you have a new prospect or you have a new opportunity to heal something. There could be somebody that is wanting to, you know, another chance, you know. Or, you know, they're wanting to heal the connection or whatever it is. Um... Capricorn, I feel, I feel like you're healing from something. Something did not go your way, and I feel like you're angry. I feel like you're upset that it didn't go your way, but there's no need to hold on to it. Just let it go. Let bygones be bygones, okay? Because it feels like there's a chance for real love here with that Five of Cups reversed. There is. This is this is like a turning point. There's a chance to uh, feels like turn something around. You may be realizing something as well with the high priestess. You may be realizing the truth of a situation. Maybe you didn't realize it in the past. Past. Something has been keeping you awake. It's It's been haunting you by the looks of things. I feel like it's... Uh, some sort of demons have been, you know, haunted by some sort of demons or something like that. Um, I do see you being... Uh, I don't know, it's like broken free from something. That Five of Cups reverse is beginning to realize the truth. Again, beginning to realize the truth about something. Maybe you didn't see it in the past. You're going to get some sort of epiphany. Going through some sort of spiritual awakening. Seeing things differently. Seeing things from a new perspective. That's what it looks like to me. Um... I think you're going to be getting a lot of dreams. Really pay attention to your dreams with these two cards. Okay, I feel like your dreams are going to really be speaking to you. You're going to be getting a lot of signs through your dreams. I think you've been grieving over something with that, grieving over a loss because of the justice reverse, something not going the way that you hoped that it would go. But the grieving is, things are going to start to get better now. You're starting to realize, you know, the truth of the situation. Maybe you're starting to realize that, you know, your part in it or something like that. This is time to relax, time to go within. You are going to be going within. You're going to be healing from something because of that Three of Swords is forgiveness. Maybe it's time to forgive and move on. 
I think that you've been very conflicted. You know, you've been feeling a lot of mental imbalance on the inside. If it is, there's a mental imbalance. I feel like you've been feeling very all over the place, right? You know, I feel like there's been a lot of pettiness. There's been a lot of drama. You've been tr struggling, right? Drama. Struggling. Struggling with uh, your thoughts. Struggling with letting go. Struggling with some sort of separation. Some sort of um, argument. Maybe there's been an argument with no resolution in sight with that uh, justice reversed but I feel like you're going to be healing from that maybe it's just like it's like uh picking your battles right it's like you know you agree agree to disagree we're just going to disagree and we're going to move on from that you know there's still an opportunity for love here you know we're going to disagree but we're still we're still love each other whatever that means to you um there is love here I feel like we have somebody here that has been struggling to gain a new perspective and now they've become enlightened in some way. I feel like this is letting it go. It's learning some kind of lesson. I think you're you're going to be really thinking about what has happened in and you know, perhaps coming up with a new perspective, seeing things differently. You're going to be taking time to go within and thinking about your next move. I feel like this is a time of growth for you. I feel like you've been uh, needing a change. You know, There's a lot of stubborn, stubborn, stubborn energy here. And it could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. We have a very stubborn individual here that has been trying to prove a point. And, and it's like now... It's like I don't even have a point to prove, whether it's you or the other person. I just want to be happy. So I do feel like there is an opportunity for for happiness here if you can let go of your need to prove a point, you know. So I think it's a time of introspection. I really do. And I, I, I really don't need the hermit card. I can tell. I can tell that you're going to be, it's like you're evolving, right? And I don't need the temperance card either. I feel like you're evolving. Um, there, this is like a show off energy. I don't know if you were dealing with a show off or you were showing off. Highly competitive. You know, let go of the need to compete. There's no need to compete. This is about, if you want happiness, you, there's no need to compete with your partner or other people. Maybe you were dealing with somebody that was highly competitive, you know, that engaged themselves with other people and that other people get in the way of, you know, making the right decisions. But anyhow, I feel like you're going to be really going within. You're going to be listening to your gut. You're going to need to listen to your gut. Okay. You're going to need to really, really uh, dig deep, look deep, look deep within yourself as to, you know, Whatever it is that you need to let go of. There's something, because I see you letting go. Letting go of resentment, perhaps, you know. Some, you can't always get your way, you know. Um, I feel like there's been an argument with no resolution in sight, but I feel like there's forgiveness here. There's coming to a resolution. I feel like this is a turning point. I feel like you're going to be coming to a resolution, Um I feel like you've been really, really, really struggling, struggling to break free from some sort of uh, thought. You know, it's like this is the way it is. Uh, I'm not going to change, and you ha and it's, maybe it's time to change. Maybe it's time to change your thinking. Let go of that them old ways. And maybe this is, and if it's not you, it's somebody that you're dealing with. We have somebody here that has, it's almost like they've been willing to sacrifice themselves for this thought. Waste their life, you know. 
live an unhappy life because of that old way of thinking. This is a change. I do see a change here. I feel like there's a change of thinking. It's a change of ways that allows you to break free from that old mentality and leads you down a new path. I think you're going down a new path. You're going to be seeing things more differently. I think we have some deep feelings here. You know, this the high priestess is very deep. So I think there's some deep feelings here with, you know, I don't know if it's with somebody that you are connected to or if it, these are your own deep feelings. I think that you need time alone to uh, think about a relationship that has broke you. Now this, the, or has caused you some sort of angst you know you may be upset about something i i would say to give it a chance this is about love you know if you if you want something to work out you have to increase your efforts don't give up be willing to change um this is be willing to change we have somebody here that is unwilling to change you know it's up to you if you if you want happiness you got to be willing to change i do feel like you have somebody and i don't know if it's a friend or or somebody that you are around that you know is undependable and insincere with this page of wands reverse and this five of wands reverse you've got somebody around you that you cannot trust and maybe you need to not listen to them Listen to your gut at the end of the month. Listen to your gut. Be honest with yourself. Do not let other people, and there's other people here, whether this is for you or the cross watcher or your partner, there's other people that have been uh, butting their noses in. And this is a negative Nelly. This is somebody that is negative that has been, you know, causing problems. M remove that person from your circle. So one more card for Capricorn. The High Priestess here. Very, very intuitive. Very, very... Deep. Very, very deep. Spiritual. We have a very spiritual individual who is deepening their abilities. Increasing their psychic abilities in some way. Really focused on their... Their spirituality. The three of swords reverse. This is healing. Leaving leaving the past behind. On the path to recovery. Opening up. Letting go of stubbornness. Follow your gut. The lovers reverse. Now this is a separation. That's why there's so much pain. We have somebody that is in separation right now. Or they are going to be. That's why that three of swords is. This is leaving the past hurts behind. Um, this is disharmony. It's a disconnection of some sort. Somebody is feeling disconnected from their partner. There's some sort of one-sidedness. And maybe self-love is needed. There is nobody that completes you. You complete you. And when you realize that, things get a whole lot better. This is a conflict. So you need to you need to detach from the thought that anybody completes you. Do what's best for you. So at the end of this month, I feel like you're going to be, you know, going within, realizing your true identity, um, deepening your practice, deepening your spirituality, listening to your gut. Um letting the letting go of the animosity maybe you didn't win a fight you didn't win a conflict you didn't win a battle so what this is moving on letting bygones be bygones you maybe you've been in some sort of depression it's time to focus on the future except a time of forgiveness definitely with the five of cups reverse and the three of swords reverse somebody may need forgiveness maybe you need to uncross your arms and just forgive forgive and move on let it go something you need to let go 
unless you want to separate for good, you know, this could end in a divorce. It could end in a separation if you, or, you know, it could with the lovers reversed and the justice reversed. If you, if you can't let bygones be bygones and you can't forgive, then it could end in, if you're married, you know, it could end in divorce, but things could also get better if you can, you know. So I feel like there's a chance for reunification if you can let bygones be bygones. Good luck.